Welcome back to Pizza John Productions. So, as promised, I'm going to show you how to do a parallel lashing. So, you got your two parallel sticks of wood, and I have my trusty toilet paper lasso. We'll be ready to go. So, first, we got to start with how to tie a clove hitch. So, for the clove hitch, you're going to take one of your sticks, wrap your rope around it, like this, bring it around over the rope that you just wrapped under, bring it back around and through the X that you just created on your stick, you're going to pull the rope through and tighten it on both sides. So this is one of the essential first steps to starting a lashing. So now that you have your clove hitch, you're going to start your wrappings. So to wrap, you, you're going to wrap the rope over and under the two sticks, like so. So going over this stick, and then going around, and over, and under. And you want to make sure you keep it nice and tight the whole way through. Because that's going to be what keeps your lashing strong. So keep on going over and under, and then take some time to tighten it close together. And once you go about three times over and under, bring it all together, make sure it's tight, you're gonna do your frappings. So you may ask what a frapping is, and much like a frappuccino, no one knows where the word comes from. But to frap, you're just gonna be taking your rope and it's essentially just wrapping around your original wrappings. So you wanna keep it nice, tight, compact, and go around like so. Make sure you keep your rope tight. And this is what's gonna give your wrapping strength. It helps keep everything all together. So now that you got your wrappings and your frappings done, it should look something like this. You got your three fraps, three wraps. Now you're gonna to wanna to tie an overhand knot or another clove hitch to keep it secure. So I'm going to be tying a clove hitch. And boom. It's not pretty, but it's a lashing. And now we're ready to cook. Now we're ready to cook in any kitchen. 